theoretical probability is as much about sort of logical deduction and sometimes drawing pictures and counting as it is about using specific formula. Um, if we take a look at this first question here, you'll see what I mean, I think. Um, it says a pair of standard six-sided die are roll, and the number, the total of the numbers that come up determines a player's score. What we need to do is find the sample space of possible outcomes and determine how many of those outcomes result in a score of five. So what we're trying to do is roll two dice. This is a pair of standard dice are rolled and then add up the number of numbers that we get and see how many possible ways we could get five and how many different ways we could actually get numbers, period. So what we look at first is to see that with one die, if it has six sides, then there's six possibilities for different, different rolls with that first die. With the second die, it also has six sides, which means that for each of the possibilities on the first die, if we rolled a one there, with the second die, then we could roll a 1, or a 2, or a 3, or a 4, or a 5, or a 6. So we have 6 possibilities for each number on the first die. 6 here, and 6 here, and so forth. So what we end up with is a total of 6 times 6, or 36 possibilities. 36 possibilities. Now out of that 36 possibilities, only some of them obviously are going to add up to be a score of 5 but the 36 becomes our sample space of possible outcomes. So our, our possible outcomes is that 36, and then we just see how many of those add up to be a total of five. Now I went ahead and copied the chart from the text. We can see here that they drew it, uh, sorry about that, they drew the um, numbers that one could be across the top, and then the numbers that the other die could be down the side, and then just totaled up which ones added to be five. So either we get a 1 on the first die and a 2 on the second die, and that's 5. Or we get a 3 on the first die and a 2 on the second die, and that's 5. 2 on the first die, 3 on the second die, or 1 on the first and 4 on the second. So out of the 36 possibilities, 6 times 6, we end up with a total of 4 that could give us a score of 5 points. So our sample space is 36, and the number of possibilities that could be five points is four. So really we have a four out of 36 chance of getting a score of five. We could reduce that. Uh, that would be two eighteenths or one ninth. So our chances of getting a five actually would be one out of nine and our sample space is 36 and our number of outcomes possible is four. Example B is really very similar. Uh, this question says that there are four coins tossed simultaneously, and the question is what is the probability of getting three or more tails? So what we're looking at here, let's take a look at the chart. What we're looking at here is all the possibilities of four coins. Either we have uh, four heads, or we end up with three heads and one tail, or two heads and a tail and then another head and so on. And here's all the possible different combinations. And it really ends up being 4 squared, the four possibilities to the power of the number of times that they're being tossed. So 4 squared, which is a total of 16 possibilities. Now out of that 16 possibilities, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of them that include at least 3 tails. So we have 5 probabilities, or 5 possibilities, oops, red color, 5 possibilities out of 16 or 5 sixteenths is our chance of getting our three or more tails. Three or more tails. So 5 sixteenths.